In this project we are going to interface light dependent resistor with a Mega 328 microcontroller, and with this we can measure light intensity in the area. In the Mega 328 we are going to use 10-bit analog to digital conversion feature to measure the light intensity. We make simple electrical circuit to toggle status of the three LEDs in light intensity dependent. The lower light intensity in the area, the more LEDs turn on. As usually, we explain example C code of program and check out it work. Light dependent resistor LDR is a transducer which changes its resistance when light falls on its surface changes. LDRs are made from semiconductor materials to enable them to have their light sensitive properties. These LDRs or photoresistors work on the principle of photoconductivity. Now what this principle says is whenever light falls on the surface of the LDR in this case the conductance of the element increases or in other words the resistance of the LDR decreases when the light falls on the surface of the LDR. This property of the decrease in resistance for the LDR is achieved because it is a property of semiconductor material used on the surface. LDR are used most of times to detect presence of light or for measuring the intensity of light. Typically an LDR will have from 1 mega ohms to 2 mega ohms at total darkness, from 10 to 20 kilo ohms at 10 lux, from 2 to 5 kilo ohms at 100 lux. The resistance between the two contacts of sensor decreases with light intensity or the conductance between two contacts of sensor increases. Now for converting this change in resistance to change in voltage, we are going to use voltage divider circuit. In this resistive network we have one constant resistance and other variable resistance. As shown in figure, R1 here is a constant resistance and R2 is for sensor which acts as a resistance. The midpoint of branch is taken to measurement. When resistance R2 changes, the V out changes with it linearly. So with this we have a voltage which changes with weight. For transferring external continuous information analog information into a digital computing system, we must convert them into integer digital values. This type of conversion is carried out by analog to digital converter ADC. The process of converting an analog value into digital value is known as analog to digital conversion. In short, analog signals are real world signals around us like sound and light. Digital signals are analog equivalents in digital or numeric format which are well understood by digital systems like microcontrollers. ADC is one such hardware which measures analog signals and produces a digital equivalent of the same signal. AVR microcontrollers has an built ADC facility to convert analog voltage into an integer. AVR convert it into 10 bit number of range 0 to 1023. We use analog to digital convert a voltage level from divider circuit with LDR to measure the light intensity. Depending on resulting value occur toggling status of the LEDs. First of all we need to enable the ADC feature in ADC. The ADC control and status register allows us to enable the ADC and set the sampling rate. We set the division factor between the oscillator frequency 16 MHz and the input clock to the ADC as 128. Select channel 0 by default using the ADC multiplexer select register. Select the voltage reference for the ADC, in this case it is AVCC. Now it is time to write program code. Open the Atmel Studio. Create a new GCCC executable project. Don't forget to specify the Atmega 320p in the device list. Open the file main C in the main source editor area of Atmel Studio. Type the code of program. Using the defined statements like this allows us to only need to modify three easy to find lines if we move the LED to a different input output pin or use a different AVR. Defines pins of the chip input output ports for attaching LEDs.
This function is called just once in the beginning of our program to initialize input-output pins that we will be using. With AVRs, we read the pin using its pin register and we write to a pin using its port register. For the LDR we will be using the pin 0 of PORTC register for reading. So, we need set pin 0 of the data direction register C as input. For the LED we only need to use the port register to write to, however, we also need the data direction register as the input output pins are set up as inputs by default. This function remaps a number from one range to another. That is, a value from low would get mapped to to low, a value from high to to high, values in between to values in between. The function performs ADC initialization in accordance with our settings of ADC. The function reads the value of the analog to digital convert. The main function. The call of the function to set microcontroller input output ports configuration. The call of the function initialize ADC. This statement is a loop, often referred to as the main loop or event loop. This code is always true, therefore, it executes over and over again in an infinite loop. It never ceases. Programming is complete. Next, building and compiling project code into hex file. Burning hex file into the microcontroller memory flash. Microcontroller turns LEDs on or off depending on the intensity of the light which hitting the surface of the LDR. The lower light intensity in the area, the more LEDs turn on. Assemble a circuit board to check it out.
Note, we use voltage divider circuit. The constant resistance is selected individually. In this case constant resistance value is 10 kilo ohms. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon, subscribe and ring the notification bell never to miss a new video.